Welcome back. Unfortunately, this winter is very anxiety ridden, full of stress, also very dry, and all of this can have an effect on your skin. I recently spoke with Dr. Elise Love, and she has some great tips for us on how we can have clear skin despite everything going on right now. Let's take a look. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that very little is within our control. This last year has taken its toll on everyone in some way, from how we spend time with family and friends to how we promote mental health and practice self-care. Nothing has gone unaffected, not even our skin, as new skin care needs emerge through the craziness of 2020. New York City-based board-certified dermatologist Dr. Elise Love joins us live this morning to share his, her advice for helping us take back control of our skin. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Love. No, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited. So our new normal has brought about a whole new set of issues for our skin, from frequent washing and sanitizing, drying out our hands, to irritation from wearing a mask. How can we prepare and protect our skin from such factors this winter? Yeah, so you are exactly correct. All of these new behaviors that are definitely very important behaviors, such as wearing a mask and washing our hands and sanitizing our hands multiple times a day, definitely have had a toll on our skin. And unfortunately, these are probably going to get a little bit worse as we move into the winter months. Um, CeraV actually did a study uh, survey and 51% of people surveyed said that they expect it for their skin to be the worst this winter compared to any previous winter. And the logic stands because we know that skin is difficult to some degree in the winter, any winter, just because it's colder outside, it's drier outside. Um, we're spending a lot more time exposed to drying heat. So when you combine that to the extra challenges that we're facing with the face masks and the um, frequent but necessary hand sanitizer and hand soaps, we definitely have a challenge to keep the skin moisturized and hydrated. But with the right ingredients, we definitely can at least keep control of this aspect of our life. It sounds like most Americans feel that 2020 has impacted their skin health. Do you have any tips for caring for these skin concerns and how we can get some of that extra relief this winter? Yes, definitely. So my biggest recommendation this summer is to really focus on nourishing that skin barrier. And our skin barrier is important because one, it helps us hold in moisture, either that we already produce or that we add from a moisturizer. And two, it helps protect our skin from all of those external forces we discussed, like the heaters, the sanitizers, and the soaps. Um, and so one way to kind of enforce that skin barrier is by replenishing something called ceramides. And ceramides are just natural fats that help reinforce and protect the integrity of the skin barrier. And as we go through the day, a lot of these things kind of almost pull off ceramides off of the skin surface. And so by replenishing them in a daily, on a daily basis with a moisturizer, we can kind of help protect that barrier. I recommend CeraVe cream to use on a daily basis. It's great because you can use it from head to toe. It won't cause acne, it's lightweight. You can use it on the entire body once a day, but for the hands, you'll probably need to reapply it a few times throughout the day. And do you have any tips for caring for skin of color and related skin conditions? Yeah, so this is a really good question and I'm really glad that we're thinking more about this um, in just current times. Um, so what we've known for a very long time is that eczema prone skin, so skin that tends to form rashes, especially in the winter time, has a lower percentage of those ceramides within the skin barrier along with a few other things. And so when we actually look at populations, not just people with eczema, but just the general population, and we compare by race, what we see is actually that darker skin tones, so black African-American patients, have the lowest percentage of ceramides at baseline, whereas white and Caucasian skin tends to have the highest percentage of ceramides at baseline, and Asian skin is right in between. So ceramides are helpful for everyone to replenish their skin barrier, but they're particularly helpful for eczema patients and skin of color patients who at baseline have these lower levels. 
Now, we all need ceramides when we're looking for products for our winter skin care routine. What are other key ingredients and products that we should be looking out for? Yeah, so two other ingredients that I recommend um, for winter skin care. One is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is amazing because essentially what it does is it helps you absorb more of your moisturizer. And then the second ingredient is niacinamide. Niacinamide is a soothing anti-inflammatory ingredient. And so it kind of helps to decrease some of the irritation that can be on the skin surface during this time of year. And then lastly, moisturizers are super important for protecting the skin barrier, but what you cleanse the skin with is also equally important. And so I recommend kind of looking for cream-based cleansers, both for the face, for the hands, and for the body during this time of year, so that you're not stripping the skin of all of its moisture, but you're still getting it clean. Where can we get more information? So CeraVe.com is an excellent resource for learning more about ceramides and their role in the skin barrier, and also for tips and tricks, tips and tricks on how to protect your skin um, during this winter. Thank you so much, Dr. Elise Love, for joining us today. I know my skin has been a mess recently, so <laughs> I really appreciate this information. You are not alone, and you're very welcome. Thank you for having me.